Welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at Valby Run after nerf to see what kind of rewards we can still get from it and if it's viable, if it's good, and should you still be doing it? Before we go any further into the video, DPJ wants to thank you for all your support that he's had on this game and he's giving away Ultimate Descendants every week. Unlike most people, his giveaways are actually legit and he's going to be picking on a weekly basis for people who like and comment on his videos the more he sees of you the more chance of you winning and winners will be picked and announced at the end of every week and also go join the discord it's linked below and help him build his amazing first descendant army if you did not know about valby run it's over in fortress and we do one of the volgus strategic outposts which basically is a three minute mission of enemies constantly spawning. You kill them, you don't kill the boss and you fail the mission intentionally so that you can instantly restart it again. Now, with all the patch notes and stuff that came out earlier, and if you haven't seen it, there are two videos on the channel, one for the patch notes and one for a preview of the upcoming update with Luna and such things. Definitely worth checking out those videos. They have changed the strategic outpost. They only have a one minute cooldown instead of a five minute cooldown but you want to fail it so you can get it instantly rather than having to wait and as you can see there's another valby here for me and some enzos and it really is straightforward you blow up all of these things that are on the map out i'm frozen and then you start doing a valby run but first we need to kill the boss a little bit so i'm going to do that while the other valby clears the water area once he's in immune more enemies will spawn now they have nerfed at the rate at which these enemies spawn so you will get less enemies over time and they have adjusted the drop rates and what the drop will give you in terms of gold and kuiper so we're going to see after these three minutes roughly what has changed my inventory is full i didn't even realize I'm, i was doing some farming yesterday so i can't even pick up the things i want to pick up but it does seem right now that there's a similar amount of enemy spawning it doesn't look like it's really truly been properly nerfed. Maybe they've just changed the amount of gold and kuiper you get per drop. Because I am getting about 3,500, well, 2,700 to 3,500 per gold drop. And I'm fairly sure before it was closer to 5,000. So it looks like gold may have been nerfed a little bit, but I'm still getting quite a decent amount. Kuiper shards are around about 230, 250, which. I can't quite remember what it was before, but I'm fairly sure it was very similar. Maybe 300, uh, 320. So even though this has been nerfed, it doesn't feel like it's been crippled. Let's put it that way. I don't think it's been crippled. I think it's just been bought in line with the other ones like they said they would. And actually, to be fair, they've probably... Well, it seems like they've done a decent job because these numbers seem consistent with other farms, which I am going to check as well and see how much other farms have changed after patch. But right now we've got one minute left on this one. Still, like I said, there's a similar amount of enemies. Maybe a few less, but for the most part it seems, you know, exactly the same. I'm going to try and pick up all this Kuiper and stuff on the floor because I want to get an accurate representation of what drops from one run. And then I'm going to run it for an hour and see what I get across an hour for the end of this video. So pretty cool to be fair. I'm, I'm happy that it doesn't seem to be completely and utterly nerfed. It just seems to be a little bit less. Oh no, I'm going to get frozen. Oh no. So yeah, let's go and get all the gold. This other Valby is doing work for me, so I don't have to join in. I can just pick up all my stuff. To be fair, it looks like you can potentially maybe do this with a single Valby. Because there are slightly less enemy spawns, you don't have to worry about covering as much with the water. So like you can leave a little gap in between because the enemies aren't spawning as often. So, you know, maybe you can do it as a single Valby now. I might have to try that myself when I'm doing my private farming rather than my video farming. And we got three seconds left. Try and get as much gold and stuff and Kuiper as we can. That's dropped on the floor. Okay, let's see what we got. Mission results screen. So I got 11,500 Kuiper and 157,000 gold. So I feel like I was probably on the lower end of that because I don't think it was nerfed that much. Maybe I just didn't pick everything up. But 12,000, still pretty good. That's what, um, 240,000 Kuiper an hour at that rate. And then I think like 157,000 is probably close to about 4 million gold off the top of my head. So it's still fairly good. Before it was like 7, 8, 9 million gold. So the gold has been nerfed quite a lot. But for the most part, it's still a relatively good farm. 
in my opinion. Now I'm going to run it for an hour and give you all the results of what I got across the hour. Right, so that is the hour done and finished. And we're going to have a look at the results. Now on screen, you'll see me posting a few of the results that I got because it was a random amount that I was getting every single time. There was no set like 12,000 every time. Sometimes it was 15 and a half thousand. Other times it was 13,000, 14,000. So it does seem now that it's random in terms of what drops, how it drops and how much it drops. But it's roughly between that 12,000 to 16,000 mark for Kuiper. And for gold, it's roughly between 180,000 gold to 210,000 gold every single run. And then you obviously over an hour add that all up of what you got and then you'll see everything that you had so for me personally over the space of an hour after patch with valby run i got 287,000 kuiper shards prior to dismantling mods which i haven't done yet because i wanted to just give the base results for what you get from the farm itself and for gold i got 4.2 million over the space of an hour so that to me seems like a pretty decent farm still because i think most other places gives you about 250,000 kuiper and roughly like three and a half million gold so there's still benefits to doing valby run however i'm fairly sure there'll be other ones that now compete with it or maybe are even better which i'm gonna hopefully make some videos about later so check out the videos from earlier for the patch notes on everything that's changed currently today and also the video about the preview of what's coming next week and look forward to some more videos about farms and stuff today. Thank you for watching. I've been easy now. You guys have been awesome.